Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Hey <clears throat> and welcome back to another one of my vlogs. So for today's video, I am really just chilling. I'm having a movie afternoon slash evening with mum i'm also going to be quickly popping into town and i might be doing some shopping not too much because i really don't have the money to but i might just pop into like super jog and boots i've got gift cards and i need to pick up some bits i need anyway um and people have asked if i'm doing boxing day shopping and i've had some really good recommendations through instagram that people have said that i should definitely check out so you know and i need to pay a little bit of money into the bank so yeah it's sort of like running errands but potentially buying a couple of bit i'm wearing my saffron barker merch hoodie from ages ago um i love this one it's definitely my favorite one she's ever done and it's the last one i bought i think actually because i thought 25 pounds was quite expensive for a hoodie but then you go into hollister and you're like mm, actually this is really cheap and i love it it's so snug my mum's washed it since christmas because obviously i slept in this but i just love it it's so cozy and because i'm not like feeling fantastic i still feel quite ill and rough from christmas <laughs> Right, so I'm back home now and I've got quite a bit of stuff and I haven't really started this vlog yet, but hey-ho. So I've got quite a few meals for like um, during the week when I finish work and stuff. So I've just got some Heinz tins, two of ravioli and two of the beans and sausages because I love those. I've got some more milk chocolate digestives because they are really, really good. Um, I've got some peppers because I've got some more red pepper hummus. So that'll be nice. And I just want like as a healthy snack. Loads of their crisps on offer, so... I got a multi pack of the hula hoops, sort of vinegar and barbecue beef because they were one pound each. I also got myself some sour cream and chai pretzels because they were one pound, some Doritos because they were one pound. Um, and then, ready meal wise, I've got two um, slow baked um, McCann, McCain jacket potatoes because they're really nice. And then, two mini frozen meals, which is macaroni cheese and a lasagna because they were on offer. I also got two baby cauliflowers just because we've got a massive one. So these are in well in date so I can have these just as quickly as the vegetables during the week. And I also got one of their mini pizzas and some bread. I got some crunchy nut Kellogg's honey nut and clusters cereal. I know it's not the healthiest but it is so nice. Um, and I don't always have cereal for breakfast anyway. I also got some bacon rashers because they taste amazing. I got some red grapes because I want to have fruit. And I actually think, oh no, I got some Cars cheese melts. And I actually think that is everything. To my shadow, to the sun rays, and on and on, we'll go. So me and mum are watching for Ragnarok. I've been snacking, I've done my thank you cards. And mum, what's just happened? Something amazing. Her enthusiasm is heartwarming i have just hit 1000 subscribers well 1001 to be precise but i'm just like what the hell is happening i've had like in the last couple of days before christmas i've been asked by companies to do collaborations and i'm like what the hell then i was getting really close to 900 it sort of spiked in the last couple of days i'm like 900 nearly to a thousand and it's been it's spiked and i was like oh my gosh is it gonna happen before new years is it gonna happen at all and it's actually happened and i'm like what the hell it is a big deal for me i know to some people it's gonna be nothing but to me it's such a big deal because i've been doing it for three years which is mental to look back on and my videos at the very start are so embarrassing my voice was so high pitched anyway um and like, I've evolved so much through my whole YouTube and like doing it the last three years and I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon. I've made friends for life. I have just like tackled things I never thought I could and I've made so many memories. I've got lo living documentation of my memories. So if I'm having a bad day, I can look back on them. And I just honestly, it's been incredible. And I just cannot believe I've hit a thousand subscribers.
Mum, I've hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Uploading my makeup declutter, which is going down really well, and people are commenting, oh my god, you've hit 1k, and by each comment and the DMs, it's, it's sinking in a bit more, and I'm like, is this real life? But I've got to film two videos at some point. Don't know when I'm going to do that, but my mind is blown so thank you so much the giveaway will be coming i've still got some more bits to pick up for it and also i want to ask your guys opinions and i'm gonna be doing instagram polls because like when i did my declutter i've got brand new makeup that's only been swatched and i was thinking that there could be extras in the giveaway like i've got my mac mineralized skin finish which i've only used a handful of times and just as a little extra not as an actual thing but like as an extra the rose quartz eyeshadow palette by primark it's only been swatched and that's basically brand new so let me know in the comments good morning everybody so it's saturday and this is going to be like a two or three day vlog so go me i just i chilled obviously last night we were watching marvel and we watched four movies in the end and it was really really good i'm not gonna lie to you but it is like 25 to 1 in the afternoon i've had a very chilled very chilled start to the day i've been editing i edited my disappointing products video which i filmed at like 10 past 12 this morning some orange juice mamma mia too here we go again since i got back for christmas it's gonna be a good start a good late start to the day Hello. been chilling since I last vlogged. I haven't had my pamper night yet. It's just been a bit much, you know. I've just been in bed chilling, watching Mamma Mia, eating my own body weight in chocolate, saying I'm in my pyjamas. I've just filmed my New Year's makeup look. In my pyjamas, yes. Am I ashamed? No, because I was really comfy. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to take some selfies. Well, eye selfies for my Lily's Beauty Instagram account because I definitely want to feature this, but I just feel like my face is missing something. I've got eyebrows, I've got mascara, because when I went to the Ivy with this makeup look, I didn't put mascara on, so I think it's probably because I'm in my pyjamas, but yeah, I'm feeling very good. My room is a mess. It always is after I film, but I need to edit my makeup look so then I can film my best of beauty. So my dinner is here. I've got the turkey and I've got the jacket potato with beans and brown sauce. Yum. So I've just filmed another video. I filmed my best of makeup 2018. So that's a 25 minute video. And I also had an injury. I tried getting up and my foot had gone numb and I completely like did the splits. And trust me, my body cannot do the splits. So doing the splits was extremely painful, but I'm fine. Um, so now my room is an absolute tip. I've got so much editing to do, but that's all right. I'm going to do that, but I just need to tidy this up. So I've got mess from over here. I'm keeping it real with you guys. I've been eating chocolate. I've also got my scissors out because I tried to use this, which I got for Christmas, but we don't have the right battery. So I'm going to have to buy them on Monday. These are the batteries I've got, but they're not triple A. Um, my ball balls, which I spent money on from Clandon, never ended up using. They were in a tub, which I'm going to put them back. Obviously, I've filmed videos where I've required tubs. I've got makeup out everywhere. Story of my life. I've got my notebook out because I made a list of all the products that needed to be in the video. Beautiful pot of silver goodness. I've just got more mess over here. got my brushes. got candles. Oh, goodness gracious me. I've got mess over here that needs to be put away. Over here isn't too bad. This is just handbags. That's easy. Up here, I've just got gift card sort of packaging that I just need to chuck. This phone case that I've sort of broken, which I just need to tidy up a bit. Um, sellotape, that sort of thing. Over here is just all the mess. This is what I use to stand my mirror up. So if you think I'm professional, think again. It's my shake box and some Poundland storage holders. And then I put my Zoeva mirror on top. And then I've got my best of makeup in there that I need to put back in the drawer. So it's Sunday and... Oh my goodness. So yesterday I did get stuff done. I had spent the day in bed, but then I did do filming, so that was all good. And I said today I'm going to do coursework, which I have done since like 12 o'clock. I've done assignments, 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 which is all good. Four hours straight with no break. So now my head is like completely frazzled. I've got two more assignments to do. I didn't have like loads of assignments to do. It's just they were really lengthy, so and they took a lot of time and detail. So they're done. I've just got two more to do, but I'm having a bit of a break. And I've come to the epiphany that I have denied myself the pleasure of Suits, um, the Netflix on the net series on Netflix with Meghan Markle, um, and some other amazing actors and actresses. Now, don't get me wrong; like one of the main reasons why I looked into it because obviously Meghan Markle's in it for like the first seven series. 
um, for the first seven seasons, but I just really want to watch it because I really want a new series to binge watch because, don't get me wrong, I can binge watch um, The Vampire Diaries and Gossip Girl as much as I really want to, but I want to binge watch something new. I definitely need to finish the originals because I know that gets very, very like intense and amazing so i need to finish watching that but i really 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 want to get into oh oh hello loads and loads of uploads have just happened loads of people have uploaded videos to instagram so get watching on those soon um i really want to get into suits because it looks so good so yeah if you want to know what i might be watching on netflix that is that um i need to edit my new year's makeup look as well because that's going up tomorrow at 10 a.m today will be the last day of this vlog because i want to vlog a separate vlog tomorrow so that's fine i'll upload this tomorrow as well so i've got a lot of editing to do i need to take some paracetamol because my head is buzzing but i've got so much i do need to get done um so yeah so i'm gonna get some stuff ready for when i go and use the bathroom so i'm gonna get this out which i used at christmas it's so good and malika i am using it told you it's just so so lovely I need some of this in my life. Promoting the use of paracetamol, you know. Um, I'm going to try test this out because I love the rollerball um, blemish fixer thing from Nip and Fab. So it's time I tried this. And it's basically night time. Is there anything that I should test? Oh, they're all sheet masks, aren't they? I might try this one, you know. Give that a whirl. It's shameful how empty this is, but I haven't used it in a while, so, you know. Um, might try the Baby Lips Hydrate, because there's no room for it in my lipstick holder. Let's move that out of the way. It will. Okay, so I'm going to use the Lush Butter Bear Bath Bomb from Malika, because it just smells incredible. I'm also going to use a Body Shop mango body scrub which is either from malika or my family i got two um i'm also is this the open one yeah i'm gonna use a tea bag from joella's range i mix and match things if you don't like that sort of thing don't watch my pamper nights i'm also gonna add some of the snow bubbly because i've got a mini of this obviously actually no i'm not i'm gonna use the big size because i've got the big size in the bathroom i can save this for when me and malika or me and anyone go away um I might try this, you know. Is this from Zoella? Yes, it is. It's from Zoella's range a while back, so I'll grab that out. Um, hmm. What bodies? Oh, no, I've already got a body scrub, haven't I? Mm. Although, I might add a bit of scooper duper. I've got so many bath things, so prepare yourself for multiple pamper nights because I've got enough stuff here to bath an army. So I'm going to put everything in here so I know what I'm taking with me. That like clears the view completely. <sighs> I haven't had a pan for night in a very long time so it is so long overdue. So I'm going to put that there actually. Made up my Christmas sign. Okay. I'm also going to put these skincare items in. So the Nip and Fab. Purify Teen Spot Zap because it's so good. My eye roll on from Simple. Oh, you can tell how broken this is because it like falls out. But it's really good though. It's the Pore Balance Anti Black Hair Stick from the Primark's collaboration skincare range. It's good, but it's broken. Um, the Simple Skin Quench Sleeping Cream and just the Mango Hand Cream Mini. Okay, so we're gonna start putting things out. I'm gonna put the Scooper Duper, which I actually got last year, but just haven't actually cracked open yet there. I'm gonna put that there. Skin care can go up there. Got the bath bomb from the Lika. I said I mix scent, but it's about time I use this. I think I use this Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, I can't remember because it's a mini. So we've got a bit of snow fairy in. Quite a bit of snow fairy in. It smells lush, it creates the best bubbles. Watch suits. I'll tell you my thoughts, but obviously I'm not giving any spoilers in case any of you actually want to go and watch it. Oh, oh that smells amazing. Right. Get a nice big scoop for that. Under really hot water that's technically like burning my hands. Okay, yeah, that is it until the bath gets deeper and I will put the bath. So I've laid out all the skincare I want to use. 
so it's all out here i'll let you know because i'll film it what i think of that because i've never tried it before this is just so pretty and yeah so that is everything these honestly smell so lush oh look at that that's a bit of shimmer oh he is so cute i do feel bad putting him in the bath but this bath bomb is probably one of the most simple but most effective bath bombs they do. In right, taking an Instagram shot. In he goes. I have also lit my Yankee Candle Pink Sands because it just creates the most perfect natural chilling. So I've got suits on, I've got my candle burning and honestly this just looks incredible to me. And I'm not going to lie, this pant is kind of cute but it's really, really like a tight on my head. But I'm gonna do like my skincare routine. I was thinking, oh, can I be bothered? Yes, I can. My skin is a mess at the moment. So I really, really can be bothered. Oh. I'm gonna target it right on like my problematic areas. And I have just been in the bath, which means my skin is gonna look extremely red. Uh. So my skin looks like a tomato, but that's really sort of like smoothed out my nose and all the skin like around my nose, it gets really dry and disgusting. And my skin feels really sort of like rejuvenated. So first impressions, really like that. I like the Nip and Fab Teen Spot Zapping Gel, which this is the third time I'm using it this week, which they recommend two to three times for sensitive skin. So that's what I do. So I'm only using this now, but I think it does an amazing job. Um, I was going to use this, but I need to because my nose is nice and sorted. So that's always good. I'm just going to bum some of this on under my eyes just to help with puffiness. And that is actually like the quickest skincare routine I've ever done. So for dinner, I'm going to be doing myself my chicken and wedges. So I've got my wedges got suits on episode two and the chicken dippers is that the only chicken dippers i have maybe it is yum um and i'm also going to cook myself some beans which are in here when does this expire 30th of december today okay i'm gonna have to do that for myself tomorrow for lunch that's fine and when does that expire that is fine. That is fine. okay right so i'm gonna get these in the oven oh i'm so excited so this is the final project i know it looks absolutely crowded that's probably because it is but i have no shame i am so hungry it's got ketchup the chicken dippers which are bird's eye the heritage potato wedges oh, and beans oh. so i've been editing like mad i've edited my new year's makeup look that's all exported i've edited this vlog up till now so i've done really really well i've got some parts of my room to tidy up as always i feel like nothing changes i'm always saying that I'm on episode four of Suits. How much longer have I got left? 11 minutes. My mind is blown. Honestly, like, although I've watched some clips on YouTube, so I did spoil a bit for myself. Holy crap, Ola, no. I haven't spoiled anything, believe it or not, because there are so many twists and turns. It's insane. I'm only on the fourth episode, and most of each episode I've watched, I've been like, because... They just throw curveballs at you, really, but I definitely recommend Suits 110%. I find it hard to get into series straight away, except Vampire Diaries, The Originals, and um, Gossip Girl. This is one of another amazing series, which I cannot stress enough. You definitely need to go check on Netflix and add it to your list. So I know I've mentioned I got back into reading, but this book and this author is honestly, Lindsay is amazing. I think it's Lindsay Kelk, but I'm not even going to try and say I know how to pronounce it. But these have like a series of other books. Like to be honest, I'm a bit confused with the order um because it is also all these books are linked but i have got some in my, on my amazon basket because i downloaded the amazon app which is kind of dangerous but yeah honestly if you love romance and fiction and just a bit of comedy and laughing at a good book then this is definitely one to go for so i don't actually think there's anything else i want to vlog tonight because i've got to finish this vlog export it and then it's ready to go up onto private but I'm not sure what time this is going up the day you're watching this, which is New Year's Eve. So I hope you've had an amazing New Year's Eve because it'll either be going up at 5pm or 7pm. So I'm not too sure yet. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you for sticking with me throughout the year of 2018. And 
bit before that if you've been subscribed for that long which I thank you for if you have um and here's to 2019 I'm very excited for what it brings so yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next vlog or video whichever one you watch first bye <laughs>